And the reason it's so important, it's because we can modify and moderate that in our everyday lives, Kiki. That's something that we have agency over. And that means we need to be doing things for our brain that are challenging, but that we're interested in. So cognitive stimulation does not just mean crossword puzzles, as we were saying before. It's more about doing different things, varying our activities. So yes, learning a language, music, listening to music, singing music. If we sing to music that we're familiar with or unfamiliar with, what does that do? It also stimulates the vagus nerve. Mm -hmm. So there are many ways we can hum, we can chant. Um, I'm interested in enhancing life for our patients. So anything you can do that feels like a life enhancement, something that makes you more buoyant, more connected, makes you feel more meaning in life, is great to link with a cognitive exercise. That's why when people say crossword puzzles or Sudoku, they're great challenges, but they might target a specific anatomical region in the brain or a little pathway. So we have to vary it. We have many domains of cognition that most people don't know about. We don't just have memory. We have attention, concentration, we have focus, we have motor skills that we engage when we exercise. It's still considered a cognitive domain in the brain. Sensation, perception, executive functioning, how quickly we process information. How quickly we process information determines our likelihood of getting cognitive decline. So a huge study in the United States, a National Institutes on Aging study called the ACTIVE study, A-C-T-I-V-E, showed that maybe eight weeks of regular cognitive stimulation that increased speed of information processing, basically how quickly we think. We rarely think of how quickly we think. But I'm sure you all know that there's some people who think more slowly or more quickly about certain things. But increasing our speed of cognitive processing can be protective. So if everyone knew about that, it would be like, everyone would take that medicine if it was in a little pill, but it's effortful, right? Yeah. So those are the cognitive domains I wanted to share with you and with your listeners, because it's good to know that there are many we can be working on, and I can give you ideas of how to work on them too. 